Davao del Sur is strategically located at the southwestern part of Davao region, which is bordered by Davao City to the north, Region 12 to the southwest, and Davao Gulf to the east. It is composed of nine municipalities and one component city. With a total land area of 1,984.01 square kilometers, the province has a low population density, which covers 340 people per square kilometer. As to the 2020 Philippine Statistic Authority census population of 680,481. The entirety of the province covers 58% of agricultural production area with a greater rate of export quality coconut, corn, rice, banana, coffee, mango, and other commodities. Coffee producers are among the best performing farmers in the country, indicating that there is undeniable potential for the province's coffee production to rise. The mango industry in Davao do Sur stands out among other provinces in the region, ranking fifth in the country in terms of output volume and planted area. Furthermore, livestock, poultry, and fisheries production show potential growth for farmers and fisher folks in the province. The province is abundant in natural resources, consisting of 37% of forest land including one of the largest protected areas in the province, the Mount Apo Protected Area. The processing and manufacturing industries, which are present in the municipality of Santa Cruz, transforms the area into a mostly agricultural and industrial growth center. The majority of these businesses are exporters of coconut and Cavendish banana products. Santa Cruz is also home to hydroelectric and coal-fired power plant, which serves as the primary source of power for Dasureco, the province's sole franchise holder. Central business district of the locality have fast internet connection, supplied by three major internet service providers in the Philippines. International airports are accessible through national roads connected by Digos Makar and Digos Diversion Roads going to Davao City and General Santo City. Public and private seaports are available in the municipalities of Santa Cruz and Malalag. Both the local and national government are constantly implementing road projects. An estimated 80% of provincial roads have already been paved as a result of farm-to-market road initiatives, roads leading to tourist attractions, and among other socio-economic welfares. Furthermore, by promoting the tourism circuit, leading to tourism sites in the municipalities of Santa Cruz, Bansalan, Matanao, and Digos, which are all places worth seeing, a distinct entry and departure point to tourism destination is formed. The province of Davao do Sur strives to develop investment promotion by the enactment of the Revised Investments and Incentives Code of 2020. It shall accelerate social and economic growth by ensuring clean, green, safe and risk-resilient, healthy, and business-friendly environment. The Cities and Municipalities Competitiveness Index of DDI ranks the province third in regional level and 14th in national level. In pursuit of socio-economic development, the province shall be a hub of agri-industrialization, commercial, and ecotourism for the benefit of its constituents and all within the framework of sustainable development. I'm inviting everyone to invest here in Dabo de Sur. We have good infrastructure, we have peace-loving people, and above all, we have a provincial government who's always ready to accept and help all investors that uh, will do business here in Dabo de Sur.